Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. This is Cookie with Auntie Val, guys. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you that support me in my channel, guys. Listen, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. It only takes a smidget, midget of your time. Now listen, I got a good one for you today, guys. I know y'all see those asparagus. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make me some crispy air fryer asparagus fries. That's what we're making for today's video, guys. Okay, guys, and these are all of my ingredients. We're gonna have our little cheese here, the, the Parmesan and Romano. We need some cooking oil. You gotta have an egg, your breadcrumbs, and then whatever your seasonings are. Now, the seasons that I like to put when I'm making my asparagus, like a little uh, smoked paprika, a little seasoning, salt, black pepper, and just a touch of your lemon juice. Okay, guys, those are all of my ingredients. And of course, you need your, I forgot, your flour, because you're gonna do the three-step method method okay guys now listen sit back relax and enjoy the video guys now let's get into this video right, guys first things first make sure you wash your let's better get some okay that's been done so next what i want to do i want to cut off some of the uh some of the bottom of it you know how some of the light part it's actually more a little more tougher tougher so see like see how easy that was to bend that's kind of like what you want to pop off, bam, bam, bam. So we're gonna cut these down, guys, okay? We're gonna cut these down. Okay, this one has already been cut. We're gonna pop that in the bowl. I'm just gonna cut off the ends of them like this. Maybe about, about this short. Oh, I don't think you can see it, I'm sorry. About this short, okay? Pop these babies. Cause I don't want it to be too tough and, you know I like asparagus but you know I try to dress them up a little bit put a little extra seasoning we'll put you know different no not a lot of salt only salt I'm going to use is some seasoning salt and actually the way that I'm going to do this I'm going to show you okay so we're going to remove this out of our way and we're going to dispose of our pieces of our because we're not going to use this part. We're not going to eat these at all. Okay, then we're going to clean up our area here. And guys, I'm so glad the weather is changing. It's getting so much cooler down here in Vegas. And I am loving it. Okay. So now, you have your, you have your asparagus in your... In your uh, your bowl or whatever it is that you're going to use okay okay so next now listen i rinsed them off and they kind of uh, kind of air dry themselves okay so next what i'm going to do i'm going to add a little oil on here i'm going to put a little oil got this big old thing of oil because my oh let me see if i have any in here i don't think i have any oh i do i have a little left i have to fill up my jars of my um my, uh, my oil and this is so that's canola oil and this is um virgin olive oil okay so all we need is a little bit okay put a little bit on that we want to make sure that we have oil on all of your asparagus okay okay because I told you we're going to do the uh, the, the three-step method, okay? So once you get them all oiled down, you want to set that aside, okay? Okay, guys, now let's get back to this video. Okay, so now after we have seasoned, and I'm sorry, after we have oiled down our asparagus, next what we're going to do, we're going to get our flour. Our bowl that has our flour in it. Bam, bam, bam. And then we're going to take our asparagus and we're going to pop it into our flour. Okay, because we want to coat it. We want to have the coating of the flour on our asparagus and that's the reason for the oil. Okay. The rest in here. Remember, we're doing the, the three-step method. Uh, math, uh, the three-step method. I'm trying to say and I, and I only put a half a cup of flour in here okay a half a cup of flour 
but you just want to make sure that you have flour on all of them like this once they're all covered with your flour then we're gonna set that aside I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna grab our other bowl. We're gonna put our egg in here. And I'm thinking one egg may be all that I need. I think I might need two eggs. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I might need two eggs. Let me grab another egg. Okay, okay guys, so we're gonna put two eggs in here. And then with our two eggs, we're going to season our two eggs with our black pepper. With a black, I'm sorry, this is a garlic pepper. My goodness, I cannot get my words together. Seasoning salt. Black pepper. I guess I could. No, I don't want garlic pepper. I mean garlic powder. I don't want any garlic powder because I'm going to use my uh, smoked paprika that's going to go in with my um with my breadcrumbs okay so you're gonna take your lemon juice like a little bit I, I mean like really just like a half of a capful half of a capful we're gonna mix all of this up we're gonna mix all of this up okay guys let me rinse off this bowl that's the bowl that I had the asparagus sitting in after I washed it out. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. So in this bowl, let me make sure this is dry out. We are going to add in our breadcrumbs. We're going to put in some of our Parmesan and Marano cheese. Romano cheese. And we're also going to add in some smoked paprika. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Okay, this is a half a cup, which I know many more than a half a cup. I'm just going to start this off with one half. So that's one cup. One cup of your breadcrumbs. And we're just kind of going to kind of eyeball this. We're just going to put maybe two tablespoons. <clears throat> okay? Two tablespoons. <clears throat> oh, guys, excuse me. About two tablespoons of your cheese. Then we're going to put about, ooh, about a teaspoon teaspoon of our um smoked paprika then we're gonna mix all of this up you can smell the cheese you can tell you can smell the cheese y'all so we're gonna mix all of this up together and this is what we're gonna this is what's going to be our last dip before placing it into oh did i mention air fryer yeah 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 we're gonna put that in the air fryer okay guys okay so let me get some of this stuff out of my way and then i'm gonna be right back Okay guys, so now we are ready for our three-step method. We already have our asparagus cleaned, oiled, and have been floured down. So next what we're going to do, we're going to take them out of here and we're going to pop them into our, okay, I'm going to have to just use my hands, y'all. Use it, put it like that. Make sure you get egg on both sides of it, then that way your your batter will stick. Another fork here. Okay. Once we're done with this part, we're gonna take it and we're gonna set it on our our rack. Okay. Pretty much just that simple, guys. Just gonna put them in our egg batter. 
Make sure it's batter all over. And we're gonna take them out of there. We're gonna put them into our breadcrumbs. And you can just kind of shake it around if you don't want it to. That's why I use a big bowl so that I can make sure that it's coated all over. And you take them and we're gonna place them on our rack. Okay, guys? So let me finish with the rest of these and then I'll be back to show you. Okay, guys, all of our asparagus have been battered. So next, it's time for us to set up our air fryer so we can cook these babies. Okay, guys, and listen, this is what we're going to start off with because I want them to be crispy, so I don't want them to touch. I don't want any of the crust to come off of them. I'm just like that. So I'm just going to put as many as I can, like about this much, and I have about that much left to go, which is probably about three or four turns. So I'm going to try to put this on 400. Okay, guys, it's been about seven minutes. Let's give it a check and see what it's looking like. Guys, let me let me check to make sure that it's that was only seven minutes oh yeah I think they're ready guys so we didn't even have to do 15 seven minutes is suffice at 400 degrees okay guys so let me finish with the others and I'll be right back okay, guys now look I only I put them on 400 for like seven minutes I'm sorry yes yeah, seven minutes if you don't want them this crispy after cooking for five minutes you can check and then you can decide if you want it this crispy or not, guys. But listen, you got your crunch, you got your fries without all of the extra pounds or starch or anything, guys. Listen, these, these came out so good. I was really, really, really shocked that they was going to come out as good as they did, guys. I recommend trying this recipe, guys. I really do. Okay, guys, and there you have it my crispy air fryer asparagus fries guys when I say good oh my gosh so nice and crispy and then I topped it off with some Dijon mustard I first put a little uh I squeezed like the other half of the lemon on it first and then I put some Dijon mustard on it and some cilantro on top when I say oh my gosh it is so good it is so good guys listen if you enjoyed yourself with me today and if you like I do what I do, when I do what I do, in my kitchen, guys, subscribe to my channel. Don't just watch me, subscribe to my channel. And share my channel with your family and friends. And until next time, bye.